of this particular chapter, the Black Mountain chapter of the uh, Daughters of the American Revolution. So they've been here in Carefree for 30 years. <laughs> We're very glad they're here with us today. In addition, if you glance around the perimeter of the, of the pavilion, we have a lot of tables of veteran-friendly, veteran-supporting organizations. But I would say, during the break, take a walk around and introduce yourself and talk to them. They do a lot of uh, good for vets. You may learn something that will help, may help you, may help folks that you know, your family or your friends. One of our key supporters here in this program is Veterans Heritage Project. You are right here. The students are all dressed in red shirts. And they're here with their founder, Barbara Hatch. They are key collaborators in this program year after year. Behind the scouts, we have the Association of the U.S. Army Team. And that's manned by Lieutenant Colonel Vic Connor. He's a Vietnam veteran, two tours, 26 years in the Army. The, the, uh, the Arizona Youth Leadership Council, Phoenix Chapter. Oh, you can't. Oh, my. Okay, well, thank you. All right, so hopefully this is better. Thank you. The uh, Arizona Youth Leadership Council, Phoenix Chapter, headed by, by Colonel Dick Miner, U.S. Army retired a Vietnam veteran. So he's over, over in this side. And in this corner, we have the USS Phoenix SSN 702 Cold War Museum Monument Table, manned by Captain Pete Luansky. So the Phoenix is a nuclear attack uh, submarine. It was decommissioned in 2003. And the museum plans to take the sail and some parts of that submarine and place them in a park in Phoenix and create a, a Cold War museum there. So as a former submariner, I have to encourage you to go over and check this out. They've got all kinds of great pictures. They have a model there that's, I think, eight feet long. It's pretty cool. And in 
this corner, we have the AT&T Veterans Day logo. And they have information about the Carefree AT&T Veterans Day Charity 3 Miler. This Saturday, the 13th of November, 9 o'clock. So there's a one mile walk, a three mile run. And after that, you can uh, participate in the uh, Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast right here in this space. Uh, and all the proceeds from the race go to veteran causes. So it's a very worthwhile event. It's a fun morning, and I encourage you to come out. Also, amongst us here today are members of Cave Creek American Legion Post 34. And recently, they stepped forward and volunteered to maintain the veteran graves at the Cave Creek Cemetery in Carefree. So there's 41 graves there. And they, they go out, they remove the weeds. This is a pioneer cemetery, it's a little bit rough. But they remove the weeds, rake the grave sites, and pick up debris. And so if you go out there, you'll see those graves looking good. And on each veteran's grave, there's an American flag. And those flags were placed there by the tribute writers. So both organizations stepped forward and, and, and did something to honor the vets who are, who are uh, interred there. Also, we want to say thank you to APS. APS sponsored this event for us today. So it's truly an honor to be here and stand before such a distinguished group of veterans. Today we pay tribute to all that they have done for their dedication, their courage, and their sacrifices. They have kept us safe, provided liberty and freedom to all of us and to many others. They have, done, they have performed their services in places we have no idea where they are and when they're doing it. So we're very honored to have all these veterans here with us today. And to everyone here, right, all the audience, I would encourage each of you to walk over across this road to the, uh, the other half of the garden. We have a veteran memorial there that we dedicated a year ago. And at the base of that memorial, there's flowers and a wreath. So during the break or after the program, stop by or maybe at a more quiet time, just take a moment and pay your respects. So now I would like to introduce a special guest. And this special guest will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Carol Chang Culbertson, Captain U.S. Navy, retired. She served in the Naval Intelligence Community. Captain Culbertson enlisted in the Navy and the Naval Reserve while a student at the University of Hawaii in Honolulu. On graduation day, June 1967, she progressed from Petty Officer 3rd Class in the Communications Unit to Ensign which for all of you who are in the Army or Air Force and Marines, that's like a second lieutenant. During the Vietnam War, Captain Culberson served as Assistant Administration Department Head in Patrol Squadron 31 at Naval Air Station North Island, San Diego, replacing a Navy Lieutenant Commander Pilot. A resident of Phoenix, Captain Culberson served the Navy for 34 years. And since then, Captain Culberson has served as a strong veteran advocate throughout Phoenix. So if you're a vet and you get an invitation to a function or a fundraiser, there's a good chance that Captain Culberson is a member of that association or she sent out the invitation. So she has dedicated her life, 34 years of service, and then after that, just taking care of all kinds of vets. So she's really a, a great person. So we're going to proceed with the presented presentation of colors. So the colors will be presented by the Cave Creek Boy Scout Troop 603. So please rise for the posting of colors. Remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the singing of our national anthem. So please post the colors.
Thank you, Vice Mayor Crane. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Keegan Smith and Monet Emery of Cactus Shadows High School. and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air This, this is the 13th time we've had a Veterans Day program here, and that was probably the best rendition of the, Spang the Star Spangled Banner we ever had. That was just great. Well done, Boy Scout Troop, six Boy Scout Troop 603, for pre their presentation of colors. And please thank the Cub Scouts, Cub Scout Pack 603 from Cave Creek, who handed out the, the programs this, this afternoon. So. Thank you.